Hi there, this is Mark Sabatella from Outside Shore Music, creator of Mastering MuseScore. In this tip, I'm going to show you how to create a custom tuplet. And specifically, we're going to be looking at this 17 tuplet that uh, George Gershwin uses for the glissando at the beginning of Rhapsody in Blue. This is the 100th anniversary of its premiere uh, today as I record this. So uh, what we're going to do is... We're going to enter the first couple notes first, then I'll talk about the custom tuplet. So let's come over to the score. I'll go to note input mode. I'll select half note. I will enter that F onto the staff. And then I will say that I want it tied to a quarter note. So I'll select the quarter note and then the tie. And now I need my custom tuplet. Now you might know that control three will do a triplet, control four, a quadruplet, etc. but there's no control 17 to do a, a 17 tuplet. So what we're gonna do is come over to the toolbar and say, uh, click that, and then other from the pop-up menu here. When I select other, a dialog box comes up and it lets me select the ratio. How many notes? And then how many of that value would would normally take up that amount of space? You have to think a little bit mathematically here. That's just because that is how music notation uh, works. Sometimes we actually write the full ratio in there. So we want to know the ratio. So the first part of the ratio is easy. It's 17. I want 17 notes. The second part of the ratio is the part where we have to think a little mathematically. We want to know uh, how many of that kind of note would normally fit in that amount of time. Well, this 17 tuplet here is taking up only one beat, right? We've already accounted for the first three beats of the measure. So um, I want to know how many of this kind of note. This is a 64th note, right? Uh, it's got four beams there. Uh, three beams would be a 32nd. So I wanna know how many 64th notes would normally fit in a beat. Well, I, I, off the top of my head, I ne wouldn't necessarily have been able to tell you, but I can do the math. There is one quarter note in, in a beat. There are two eighth notes in a beat. There are four 16th notes in a beat. There are eight 32nd notes in a beat. Therefore, there are 16 64th notes in a beat. And so I'm going to put 16 as the second part of my ratio here. And you'll see uh, the default settings here is to show only the number and not the full ratio and to bracket it uh, automatically, meaning if there's a beam, it won't bracket. If, there is a be if there's no beam uh, over the notes, it will add the bracket. When I press OK, I now have my 17 tuplet, and I can now start typing in the pitches. F, G, A, B, C, D, E, And then finally, the half note at the end. So that dialog is how you're going to enter these custom tuplets. And you have to do a little bit of math in your head to think about that ratio sometimes, but most typically, I didn't necessarily have to do the math. I could have guessed by just saying, well, what's the next sort of round number below 17? It's either 16, 8, 4, or 2, right? It's going to be one of those. So you pick the next smallest value uh, below uh, the number you've entered. So 17 is the number of notes, 17 notes in the space that 16 would normally take. That is normally how these tuplets will work. So. Hopefully uh, you found that uh, useful. And yes, there's a little bit of math involved in thinking about this. That is just the way it is. But if you think it through, you can create these custom tuplets pretty much however you like.